basic back braiding of a rope. For one, you unravel it. You use a three strand rope to do that. Get your rope when you unravel it. You get your one in the back, get your two and your three. Now in order to keep this rope from fraying on the end, we're gonna do a little cheating. So we're gonna put a little piece of tape on the end to keep it from unraveling. This will keep the rope tight. coming apart make it harder to to do kind of smash it on we're using scotch tape in this case or you can use the black electrical tape anything to kind of make it hold together okay and again get your three ends. Now to do a crown knot, we'll put those three going up, holding it at this point, taking your center line and making a loop of it. Like that. Take your lower line, your lower strand, swing around the back side of it and hold it down. Take your last one and stick it through the first loop you made. Then pull it down, pull all three of them together until they're tight. On your fingers. Now you have your crown knot. Okay, in order to back braid this in and make it stay, you put it to the side. The one you're laying across strand that you're laying across you go over the top of it unroll your rope and under the next strand and pull it through like that turn it back through okay you take your next strand you roll your rope over take your next strand the one it's laying on go over the top and underneath Twist it back, pulling it snug. Third one, go over the top, and now you got to find the deep one, it's the one down inside here. You go under it. You got to make sure you don't go under the same one that you've already went under. If you see the way this rope is unraveling, you can see why I taped the end. When you get them all done, you pull your three down tight and you'll twist this rope and as you see you have a strand, a rope between it, a strand, a rope between it and another strand and a rope between it, a strand between it. You'll look at the rope from the end and you'll see it comes out three sided and there's one line between each. As long as you look at that way, you'll be on the right track. Now, again, go to your next one, take the strand, go over the one that's leaning against, and go underneath the next one. Okay, tighten it up, roll it back, go to the next one, again go over the top, and underneath. back and twist it up. And take your third one. Again, you can't go under this one because this one just went under that one. So you go under the deep one. Always remember to look deep. You 
you tighten it up. You do, then you just continue on, going the third one. Over the top, bring it back. Go over the one it's leaning on, under the next one. And your last one, the one over it's leaning on, and go for the one down below. Make sure you don't get under the wrong one, and put it under there. Now you basically have your back braid. Now in order to tighten this up and make it look good, put it between your hands and you roll it. Get a little hot, a little friction. Now you see how that tightens that up. It has everything looking really nice. It should be one and a half times bigger than this piece of rope right here. And with your scissors, you could take and cut your ends off. Again, pull it in your hands, pull it good and tight. Sometimes you can take, lay it on the floor, put your foot over it, and roll it on the carpet, or in the grass, or in the dirt. There's your crown hitch back braid.